How's it going, Great A Nation? Chris Thomas here. Hope you're having a great A kind of day. And on this installment of Great A Nation, we are going to be talking about the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue called Opening Eyes, Speaking Truths, and Changing Minds with self-proclaimed relationship expert Michael Ficus. Michael, how are you? Hello, this is Michael. I am a red-blooded American male. I love to give advice about romance. Now, Michael has been on the show before, and he, at one point in time, wrote a, a pamphlet called Make Her Scream While Making Her Cream, if, if memory serves correct. Yes, it was a very successful pamphlet. It got many men laid, and, and that's really the most important thing in life. I, uh, uh, I'll let people decide for themselves whether or not they, they feel the same way. Now, this Sports Illustrated issue has several cover, cover models. Megan uh, the Stallion, who is a recording artist, and she's the first rap singer, I think, that has been on the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, tennis pro Naomi Osaka, and a model and activist named Lena Bloom. Yes, and that is the, the problem, because I am operating an online class called Ficus 101, where I teach men how to be a man. You teach men how to be a man? Yes, I teach them lessons, like uh, things they need to know, because many men are being brought up to be so, so soft and dainty, and it is not being a man. To be a red-blooded, red-blooded American male, you should not spend more than $20 on a date. So, is that like a lesson in your class? Yes, exactly. One of the lessons talks about how to date a different woman every night of the week. And you, you do it by taking each one to the White Castle and buying a Crave case. Oh, okay. You're back on the Crave case stuff. Are, are they paying you to mention it on this program? No, absolutely not. No. With the Crave case, you get many sliders, and it's quite inexpensive, and if a woman enjoys the sliders, you know you have a winner, because she is not a woman who is going to financially exploit you. All right. Now... What are some of the other lessons? Well, there's why mouth treats from women while watching sports boost your immune system. We talk about that. We cover that. And we also talk about how to spend a woman's paycheck on blackjack without her realizing you even withdrew her funds. Well, uh, I actually think that's something that is against the law. Oh, do you know, do you see, this is what I'm talking about. You do not believe in Ficus 101. You are too soft. Now, what is the ultimate goal of, of this program, Ficus 101, this online college that you made? The lessons will make you a better man. So... Every Tuesday night, as a part of the class, we have a live stream where my students can talk with me, the, the professor, the professor Michael Fikes. During one of the uh, discussions with me on what people have been up to lately, I mentioned that I have been enjoying all the pictures coming out tied to the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. And I told my students 
that gratification of the self is important for a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a healthy spirit. Well, I mean, you know, self self care is important, but b- what was what was the issue? I mean, what brought about the the problem pro- problems with the students? Well, I I said in particular I enjoyed Lena Bloom, and I said what a lovely figure, beautiful face structure, immaculate long flowing curly hair. Sultry legs, and a chest that cannot be beat. And all of a sudden, there was this awkward silence. You could hear a mouse eating cheese, thirty miles away. So it was that quiet that you can actually hear a, a mouse eating cheese thirty miles away. I I doubt it, but let's just say it it was a, a weird pause in the class, in the online session. Yes, there were, you know, nervous coughs and and people looking at the ground and not looking at the camera. And I said, what is wrong? What is wrong with everyone? And they said, Professor Ficus, Lena Bloom is a female, but she was born a man. And I said, how could that be possible? That is outrageous. I am Michael Fytus. I am 100% man. And I would never fall for a bait and switch. It, it just never would happen. Now, so you're, you're saying your students are questioning your masculinity? Yeah, yeah, that is exactly, yes. They are questioning whether or not I am a man. Some of the, you know, people paying for the class said they wanted a refund. They said I was misrepresenting myself in the class. They accused me of trying to indoctrinate them with some alternative form of lifestyle that they are not comfortable with. And I I could not believe it. I could not believe it. The quality of the class is unmatched if you want to be a red-blooded American male. Ficus 101 is for you. At $375, you get the pamphlet that Mr. Thomas mentioned. You get a textbook written by me. You get video lessons created by myself. Which is where you can earn real man badge. Real man badge, huh? Yeah, if you pass all the quizzes, you get a verified badge that, that you can put on your Twitter, your Facebook, your LinkedIn account. Announcing that you are a true blue real man. And if I have to pay all these losers back that want a refund, I would lose out on $20,000. And, you know, I think that since they did deceptive practices and tricked me that Sports Illustrated should be the one that pays... Sports Illustrated be the one that pays. Why is that necessary? I mean, you're the one that said that you were, you know, tugging it to Lana Bloom. And how they reacted to it is, you know, pretty much on you. I mean, you're the one who made the comment. And sure, it's unfortunate that they're not open-minded. But... Sports Illustrated isn't responsible. You you are a traitor. You know, you are... You are a Benedict Arnold. Well, I, I mean, there's someone I know that's a much more of a, a Benedict Arnold type, and maybe he'll be on Great A Nation in the future. 
But I, I'm just pointing out that, you know, this is your class. You made the comment. What does Sports Illustrated have to do with it? Well, I, I'm going to get a lawyer and we are going to figure this out. I have been very stressed about this. So, you know, last night I wanted to relax and have a Reese's Chocolate Blizzard at the Dairy Queen. And the monstrosity who was the clerk at the Dairy Queen with her greasy hair and pieces of brownie smeared all over her face. You know, she said, oh, you would like a Reese's Blizzard. And I, I just, you know, got very angry. You got very angry because she said Reese's instead of Reese's? Yes, I am an American. This is America. And it is pronounced Reese's. Reese's, not Reese's. So this deliverance type of woman, I'm assuming she's, she's a woman. I mean, given, you know, what happened with the Sports Illustrated cover, but, uh, you know, she had a orange Julius in her hand. Uh, she was handing it to another patron. And I... Was it, uh, she had an orange Julius in her hand? Yes, it was one of the Dairy Queen orange Julius combos. It's really good. You you have to go. See, this is why you must do Fight This 101. Because... That is where you should take a date. You should take her to the Dairy Queen Orange Julius. Well, I don't know about that. But so the the clerk had an Orange Julius in her hand and she was about to hand it to uh, another uh, customer. What happened? So it was a, a matter where I said, let me show you what I think of your Reese's. And I took the back of my hand and I smacked the cup and the orange Julius went all over her. And it was, I have to say, I mean, you know, given how stressed for the last few days have been, it was a highlight seeing her drenched in all, uh, you know, Messy, well, I should say even messier than what she already is because she is very dirty and I was very pleased. It, you know, I, I just laughed and I said, you know what, you could, you could keep the money. I do not need the Reese's Blizzard. I do not need it because I am Michael Ficus and I am a red-blooded American male. And I will win this lawsuit against the students. I will win. I will also go after Sports Illustrated. And I will show you that they are in the wrong. And I will be triumphant again. Well, I wish you luck, Michael. I don't think it's very nice what you did to the lady at the Dairy Queen. Maybe you should go and apologize. No, 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 no. See, this is why you must take Ficus 101. You must never apologize to a woman. All right. Uh, folks, I, I apologize for Michael uh, being on. Wait, wait a minute. Why would you say something like that? I apologize for Michael being on. I hope you enjoyed the episode nonetheless. Stick with us. We will be talking next time with uh, Bob Bindell. He has not been on the program in a while. Is, is that the, the guy who does the quote, the quote pillow? Yes, that is. It's Bob Bindell. And we will be talking with him on Great A Nation next time. So check us out, subscribe, and we really appreciate it. Take care. What, what about... Uh, are, are, can you buy me a Reese's Blizzard? Only if 
I'm allowed to call it Reese's. Why, you son of a...